Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm your resident psychotherapist, Tom Stevens, here to break down lyrics to some awesome music and new music today from The Kid Leroy. Kids are growing up, part one. Love to hear from The Kid Leroy. Mental health awareness to the world is our mission and our passion. If you want more Reaction Therapy, go to Patreon or YouTube. You will see content live streams like you've never seen before. And if you want to check out some new artist interviews, mental health topics in a podcast format, we have it. The Reaction Therapy Podcast on YouTube. Go subscribe today. You don't want to miss it. But without further ado, it is time. The Kid Leroy Kids Are Growing Up, part one. You're the boss now, kid. Growing hey. up, I used to want to be my Uncle Wayne. I wonder if that was representing his uncle Wayne, but now there's a grave he's looking into. Not good. Maybe a role model. Somebody he really looked up to. You're the boss now, kid. Growing up, I used to want to be my uncle Wayne. Until I saw his body laying in a grave. Rest in peace. Growing up, I used to want a Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> Until I got to drive a range. Growing up, I used to have a lot of friends. Until I probably ties this together. I wanted to be my Uncle Wayne <laughs> until I saw his body laying in a grave. The way he put those two together, like, then I didn't want to be him. And I don't know if something happened with Uncle Wayne, like how he died. But wow, have somebody you look up to and now all of a sudden they're gone. He used to want to drive a Jeep Wrangler until I got to drive a Range. I wonder if that's like a Range Rover or something that's like a lot higher end. It's like... You see something and then you see something better. It's like being in the cheap seats at an event, at a concert, and then you get down on the floor to the front row and you say, wow, this is a whole different view. Like it used to be totally fine just to be in the arena everywhere. But now all of a sudden, this is, I can't go back up there anymore. I got to stay down here all the time because this is what I want. Same with food, same with money, same with status, all of it. Growing up, I used to have a lot of friends Until I saw the money change them Growing up, I used to want a lot of hoes Until I met Ben Franklin Ah! Place that you ain't heard about Yeah! You can only come in through the word of mouth That's real Growing up, I I'm writing this from a place you ain't heard about And you can only come here through the word of mouth <laughs> It's like he has seen life one way and now a completely different way. He used to want all the girls till I met uh, those Benjis, man, those hundred dollar bills. Like all of a sudden, like, man, this money, this status, this fame, this is pretty good. Like the girls don't matter as much as, as uh, things used to. But let's same with the friends, right? You used to have a lot of friends and now all of a sudden the money changes them. I start making the money, they change. They either need from me or they treat me different. I'm not just a regular guy anymore. And I can't imagine the adjustment in your head when you feel like you're the same guy with these same friends you grew up with and all of a sudden they're different to you. And the money just changes what, that's the saddest part for me. The money and the status changes you from a person you used to be. And if it doesn't change you and you really are yourself, it changes the people around you. And that's what gets everything all off course. Then you end up all alone. That you ain't heard about. You can only come in through the word of mouth. Yep. Growing up, I used to tell my mom I'll work it out. I worked it out, but now still somehow shit ain't working out. Uh. Growing up, I watched my favorite rappers in the views. I ain't believe them when they said it ain't all what it seems. <laughs> but now I'm here and realize they were telling truth. Uh. Cause you sacrifice yourself for everybody's needs by any means. I'm married to the game for this time. That is again, he's got so much coming so quick. He used to listen to all his, the people he looked up to. And they were like, man, look, it's not what it seems. It seems amazing. Seems awesome. It's not always that way. This is a tougher life than you think. And he's like, nah, mm, can't be. It's got to be awesome. And then all of a sudden he gets in and he realizes they were telling the truth. Like that's, that's facts right there. And you have to, you have to give up yourself to be able to uh, continue on that path because everybody's clamoring after you. Everybody's wanting something from you. There's one thing I can tell people. It's really work hard not to lose yourself. Stay balanced. Try not to sell yourself out for something. 
And even when you reach a status that's different than your friends around you or people that you've hung around, try your best to say, stay humble. Try your best to have integrity and carry yourself with consistency so you don't let money drive you, so you don't let fame or success drive you, and so you don't let status drive you because that can do everything in. Sacrifice and all of yourself for everybody's needs. Mm. Married to the game for this diamond ring. Just had to be married to Even it. when they said it ain't all what it seems. But now I'm here and realize they was telling truth. Cause you sacrifice yourself for everybody's needs by any means. I'm married to the game for this diamond ring. And I'll spend more time with her than anybody else it seems. <laughs> Course side with my bitch. We can't see the nose bleeds. After party boosy bellows. Hoes make their nose bleed. Always stressing about my brother. I know ah, it's clubbing, I guess, afterwards. I don't know who Bootsy Bellows is. But after parties, girls making their noses bleed. Guess that's the, the drug reference there. Not good. Not good. Don't do that. Don't like it. Not going to help you. It's not a good coping skill. Dressing about my brother. I don't know much about his family. I'd like to hear more about his family. He, you know, he almost portrays in this like it's just not fun. I'm not happy with this. This is not how I want it. Like I like to enjoy my life. I like to create music, but... It's not what I thought it would be. Time with her than anybody else it seems. Course side with my bitch. We can't see the nose bleeds. After party boosy bellows. Hoes make their nose bleed. Always stressing about my brother. I know this shit hard on him. Always stressing about my mama. But I know that God got him. I'm stressing out more now than what I did at rock bottom. And I'm blowing more clouds. You hear that? Worries about his brother. Worries about his mom. But God's got her. And this line... Stressing out more now than I did at rock bottom. Like rock bottom's the worst, right? It's the bottom of the barrel. Like when you're in some kind of addiction, you've got to get out. When you're at rock bottom, you are so stressed out. You know what which way is up. And he's like, I'm stressing out more now than I was even at rock bottom. Y'all, you've got to ask for help. Therapy matters. Get some therapy. It really is worth it. I promise you. Get mental health treatment because it can help you stay grounded. It can help you have good coping skills. It can help you see where the dangers are coming ahead so you don't end up in a trap. Too many people come into my office when it's too late. They come into my office after everything's fallen apart. I want you to come into my office as a preventative measure. I'm about to get in this relationship or I just got in this relationship, not a year down the road. I feel like I'm slipping here when it comes to this addiction I've been trying to keep a hold of. I need some help. Get with somebody so they can be your person to walk you through some of this stuff. I got I'm stressing out more now than what I did at rock bottom. Yep. And I'm blowing more clouds, hoping that'll help stop it. It's ah, hard smoking no. mirrors with these no. bitches. It's no. hard smoking mirrors with a mom. <laughs> Promise the world and deliver me at least. But I guess that's how we go. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Love that melody. Go, uh oh. Promised the world and delivered me an atlas. <laughs> but it's true. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's just an illusion for these girls that he's around. Like, they don't care really about him. They care about his image. They care about who he rep what he represents. Not just him as a person. Come on, y'all. But I guess that's how we go. Uh -oh. like these people to me it, there are times they're having a lot of fun just running around dancing play and this girl kind of has that look for him oh why well, i can't believe it The Ken Leroy. Kids are growing up. Part one. I cannot wait for part two. Bring it on, the Ken Leroy. I cannot. Oh, man, it's, it's good. I just love hearing his voice. I love hearing his melody. I love hearing the story. I see the end of that where it's like, I thought my nightmares were my dreams. Y'all, nightmares aren't good. And when you think nightmares are dreams, like what you dream at night, that's scary, right? Because that becomes your normal. And that's not what you want in life. 
life's not always what it seems. When he thought it was going to be rosy, peachy, wonderful, maybe it didn't turn out to be. And if it's not for you in a relationship, a job, your family situation, your own personal mental health, physical health, health, whatever it is, get help for that because that is where somebody can see things you can't. There are things called blind spots in our life. And those are the things that are real issues for us that we can't see just by looking inside ourselves because we're our own worst enemy. We can't always see everything for fact. We see it from our impression. When you get somebody who's there for you, that knows you, that that gets your patterns, that understands where you've come from, that supports you, that has your back, that can help confront you on things, that is somebody who, as a team member, can help you push forward in life and have healthy relationships and, and have a way more successful life. It's possible. But remember, it's in real therapy. Just Tom, break it down. Lyrics to music. If you want professional love, check the link in the description of this video. Go to our Discord server, over 3,000 people strong. Leave us your comments, feedback, insight, and please go subscribe to our new podcast channel, the Reaction Therapy Podcast on YouTube. Go check it out today. If you want more content, go to Patreon or YouTube. It's out there. Got to go get it. Membership's waiting for you. And we'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy. Oh,